Hey y'all, just wanted to make a video on how to set up a counter using Nightbot. Now, most people will use it if they're playing a difficult game where they die a lot, so they'll set up a death counter. Every time they die in game, chat can type a command that will count up and Nightbot will basically keep count on how many times the streamer died. It's a great way of creating engagement, but keep in mind that you can use that counter for anything. I have a friend that has a burp counter because she burps a lot on stream. Some people will have specific emote counters to know how many times an emote has been used in chat. If you don't have Nightbot yet in your channel, you can watch my video on that. There's multiple ways of doing this. You can add it from the Nightbot website, but we're gonna keep it simple and add it straight from our chat. There are specific commands that we need to type and I'll tell you where to learn about all of them a little bit later. So in my channel, logged into my account, you need to do it to your account in your channel, of course. We're gonna type commands, add, and this is where we set the name of the command. In my case, we're gonna put RIP. Now we set what Nightbot will say in response. And in my case, it will be Gail has died. And now we have a specific command, which is dollar sign, open parentheses, count, I believe, close parentheses, but that's the counting command basically, and then times. So the command name is exclamation mark RIP. And every time someone types it, Nightbot is gonna answer while counting up, press enter. And it's gonna say the command exclamation mark RIP has been added successfully. So now if I type exclamation mark RIP, it's gonna say that I died once, I guess. And if I type it again, two times. Now, if you don't want just anyone to be able to type it, you can actually set the user level. There are ways to type it in chat and modify the command, but I like doing it straight from uh, my Nightbot account. So we're gonna go to nightbot.tv, log in, go to custom and find basically this command that we just created. You can scroll down or you can just type exclamation mark RIP here and it will bring it up. From there, you can edit it. And now you can set up either a cooldown for it. For example, it was by default 30 seconds. We can set it to five seconds, for example, so that if all of your chat types it at the same time, it doesn't add up. And then user level is who you want to be able to do it so that people don't come in and basically throw off the count just to troll you. I personally like my moderators to be able to do that. Click submit. And there you go. Now let's add a command to reset that count in case you want to count the number of deaths per session or maybe you're switching games. This one will be exclamation mark commands add. That's how you add commands. And we're going to name it reset death. You can give it whatever name you want. And we're going to go dash a equals exclamation mark. And here we're basically telling it to edit a command. So commands space edit and then the name of our command which was exclamation mark rip space and now we want to backslash dash c equals dash one this one's a little bit complicated i know but uh, try to follow up also i will put them in the description so that you can just copy paste them into your chat press enter and you're gonna see the command reset death has been added successfully basically we're telling it hey add a new command called reset death and that command should make nightbot edit the previous command which is the exclamation mark rip and set the count to zero so now if i type reset death okay it modified my exclamation mark rip and now if i type this i should only have one death actually zero death <laughs> And there you go. The thing with Nightbot is that if you go on the website while you're logged in, you can go all the way down here and you can click on help docs. And this is basically a list of all of the stuff that you need to know about Nightbot. If you wanna create your own commands, if you come up with like a cool idea or something and you wanna create an original command, this is where you get to learn about all of the different variables, including the count. Right here is gonna to explain to you what it does and it's gonna give you an example on how to use it. So if you're ever wondering how do people have things like, oh, follower account or followage or all of those cool commands that don't come default with Nightbot, this is how they're doing it. And lastly, before I go, if you want to learn more about Nightbot, you should definitely check out Truy's playlist on the matter. She currently has 14 videos all about Nightbot. So check it out. Link in the description. And there it is. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level. Out.